Butter Universe is bringing And welcome to another episode of Dawn of Alderton. I am Dave here with Sputter Media, and let me kick it over to our DM for this show, DM Snack King Joe. Take it away, Joe. Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? Uh, all of our friends, familiars, uh... I had a cool thing I said and I forgot it, but I was illiterate. <laughs> Yay, clap, clap, clap. But I'm going to be talking on, alright, so let's jump to the people that really matter. Uh, our lovely cast and crew, which are like, all actually all the same peoples. Um, but why don't you take it away, Deirdre? Oh, I'm sorry, wait, re rewind, we can work. Today's uh, impromptu super cool question of the day. If you yes. could, yes. oh well, hold on, I had this. That, uh, 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 <laughs> wow, literally, I was, I was all... blanking uh, on air, man. Uh, it happens occasionally, you know what? Boom, shivers. Joe's not here, man. If you could be any plant for 24 hours, what plant would you like to be? <laughs> I really wish that we had a little bit of time for this one. Hi, I'm Bailey. I play Deirdre. I'm an also sneaky rogue. Um, you can find me at Floral Gypsy25 on Instagram. And if I was a plant for 24 hours, I guess I would want to be something pretty. So I would pick a sunflower. And that is all. All right, excellent sunflowers. I just got Post yeah, Malone running through my head. Uh, well, apparently uh, you can, you can uh, roast them. Uh, uh, but let's jump over to Lucian. Hey, everybody. I'm Lucian, otherwise known as Eric. You can find me at Nagatsu underscore Seiken pretty much everywhere. Uh, feel free to hit me up. Ask me any questions. Uh, good to go. Um, damn. Any plant, though. Um... Probably a stinging nettle, mm. just so I can annoy people. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I freaking fell into it's a patch of that of when I was a kid uh, on a camping trip. Yeah. That was so bad. Oh, my God. As a God. victim of one as well, well, well done. Good plan. <laughs> oh. Excellent. Whenever I would find them, I would intentionally rub them and smear the... <laughs> Little, You're a uh, psychopath. <laughs> it didn't yeah, bug me at all. Yeah, yeah, it just no, kind of tingled. It was like my hand fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, I'm immune to... Uh, it's like fucking fire! Are you shitting me? No, no. Completely I'll, serious. I'll, I'll, I said the only thing that it. was ever worse in my life was when I got an anthrax vaccine. Damn. Damn. Dave wins this round. <laughs> uh, and on the topic, let's jump over to Zothariel. Uh, what's up, everybody? My name is Ryan. I play Zothariel Brightsong. You are really quiet, brother. Oh, I'm really quiet? Oh, hang on. That's a little better. That better? It might have just been your Can distance you? from the mic. Yeah, okay, we're here. Yeah, you're uh, oh, hi, very Ryan. good now. I yeah. play Zothariel Brightsong, uh, the team's resident bard. You can find me at Kundalini Pasta on Twitter or on Instagram. If I could be any plants, uh, I think I'm going to have to pick, um, let's say Northern Lights, Cannabis, uh, Sativa, I believe. That would be a good pick for me. <laughs> good choice. Personal favorite. A heady, good a heady, clear high, not too heavy on the body. You know what I mean? It's just, you know, that'd be a nice thing. You got me. I was like, wait, how's it going to be Lights? <laughs> Dude, wait, what? You didn't pick up Northern Lights, like, right away? Uh, he didn't even need to add cannabis. At least, not for me, but I'm a pothead. <laughs> uh, I'm East Coast. We smoke uh, sour diesel over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, that, okay. That is true. <laughs> is a East I mean, it, West Coast thing. I weighed my options. You know, I thought a long time, sour diesel and I, we go back, but I think it's Northern Lights for me. 
that's uh, totally groovy. I've had some other lights. That stuff's uh, pretty, 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 pretty. I, I, I rotate strains, man. I like to, I like to just fuck around with different things all the time. That's how I am, and I don't care what it's called. So, <laughs> like, I'll take some of your purple whatevers or some of your silver whatevers, but I don't care what it's called. Just give me some good things. Just give me high. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> yes, Let children, this is an adult show. Come, Sputter Media, where we encourage you to take drugs. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that's nothing compared to Cyber Nights. <laughs> that's very true. But while we are on the topic, let's jump over to our good friend, Sasha. Hi. Everybody, my name's Mitch. I play Zasha Beesons, the party's ube flavored holy healer, as you all know. Um, uh, just a little recap or a precap here. Uh, uh, sorry for any background noise. I am suffering from self inflicted technical issues. So if you hear any background noise, my bad. Anyways, to answer today's question, if I could be any plant, what would it be? You know, I thought about it for uh, a pre-game home game that we are playing just earlier about being a sentient plant first before I ended up choosing a sentient cat. But uh, I would have been a tomato plant for nothing else other than being big, red, plump, and red. That is it. Mm -hmm. That is my reasoning. I need nothing more than that. Sentient, red, tomato plant. Thank you, DM. Oh, one more thing. Find me at IC Wiener. Uh, do some underscore or some periods find me on various platforms or uh just says mitch d on facebook thank you dm so uh mitch likes veggie tales based off what he said <laughs> no harm no fail because uh, you're my cheeseburger no harm no foul <laughs> uh and uh moving right along i think i've given this player enough time to come up with an answer clover so kind of you. And now I am just want to make Veggie Tail references, but that's okay because I'm so blue, 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 blue. Um, anyways, hi everyone. My name is Emily. <laughs> I play Clover. Um, you can find me on Instagram at kittenmitten 66 and on Tuesday nights as Lovelace in the Cyber Nights stream. And I'm surprised no one has said this yet, but I would be, be a venus flytrap because a plant eating an animal is pretty metal metal yeah <laughs> <laughs> if anyone's metal in this group it's clover totally <laughs> all right well and and i'm gonna piggyback on this because uh so we just got done with a little uh birthday uh D, &D game for for emily today and you know what we didn't get to do during that game mitch we didn't sing her happy birthday. Oh my, we did not. We did so not. I think we all need to sing friends. Emily happy birthday because it is her birthday weekend today. Uh, to, yesterday was your birthday, correct? Yes, it I'm was glad, yesterday. I'm glad I clarified that in the uh, chat earlier. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, so I think that we should all take a moment and sing Emily happy birthday on the show. All right, ready? I'm yeah, count us down. One, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Emily. Happy birthday to you. I don't think a single one of us were in sync. No. <laughs> most important birthday ever. That was freaking great. Like in the most that was awful beautiful. way. Thank you so much. That was uh, touching. <laughs> You're welcome. Excellent. Uh, and you know what, uh, Sever, why don't you run us out? I could certainly do that, yes. So I am Dave, or DM Dave, as I am called on the Cyber Night Show on Tuesday nights. And also wanting to announce that we are getting ready to uh, launch a new show 
pretty soon. It is going to be bi-weekly Saturday afternoons at noon. We are going to be doing Tomb of Annihilation. I'm going to be DMing that one. And we've got a couple of players in uh, uh, here that are going to be in there as well. We've got, uh, uh, wait, uh, uh, Emily, right? Our, no, 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 uh, you're not You're not in that one. Sola's in that one. So somebody you know from Cyber Nights. And then October, or sorry, um, uh, ah, 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 uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's his character's name? Um, Banshee? Banshee, thank you. Banshee on Cyber Nights. He's also going to be playing a character on that show. Uh, and then, uh, so yeah, uh, stay tuned because the ever-expanding Sputter universe is bringing more entertainment to you soon. Um, I also want to throw a quick plug out there. You can find me on Instagram at Dave's underscore world underscore games, or you can check out my new Facebook group, Dave's World AI, to check out uh, a lot of the AI art that I post on line so there's a brand new facebook group if you're interested in joining to see my work and then um i play the monk severin who is holier than thou but he doesn't act like it he just is and uh let's see oh yes uh i laughed very very hard at my own answer when it popped into my head uh, uh and so i've got to share it what plant would i be if i could be any plant i would be a couch potato <laughs> oh my damn okay. answer Good <laughs> yes yes <laughs> yes acting's answer what a guy does that does that uh, get inspiration uh well you know session over guys Dave won <laughs> <laughs> i know you know that's definitely an inspiration um yes. the fact that no one's a potato i was like no one really said potato like couch potato then you said i was like david gave it's in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> we do get in sync a lot. Like, we think a lot alike. We do. It's weird. Um, but uh, moving right along, um, since I don't have to answer the question anymore, uh, let's <laughs> take a second to uh, give a shout out to our uh, homies uh, on the corporate side, uh, W Energy, Energy Drink of the Future. It is a generalist okay. energy drink uh, produced from the coffee fruit, not from the bean. Uh, comes in powdered form. Someone should have popped that link into the chat now or has or will. Uh, yeah. Time wobbly babbly. But use our promo code, promo code, purple space nerple for 10% off and help us over here at Sputter uh, not have to work and just, you know, do this every day. Yeah, wouldn't it be nice if, like, we just get launched into space and, and, and become, like, an overnight success of some kind and don't have to Matt work Mercer anymore. Blue? Matt Mercer does not have as good a beer as Yeah, I wait, I, I have no idea you're talking about, because um, uh, <laughs> Matt Mercer doesn't do cyberpunk, and that makes him suck. <laughs> hey, you know what? Sucks to suck. Matt Mercer, get good. Um, yeah, I know. Why aren't you doing cyberpunk, Matt Mercer? What the hell? Catch up with the fucking 2045. It's the future. Well, the dark future. Be real. All right, but hey, now we gotta get. Them, you, know. <laughs> I, you know, get real. W wouldn't it be awesome if, like, I just threw this challenge out to Matt Mercer and it actually reached his ass and he's like, "Motherfucker, DM Dave, I'm gonna come after you." <laughs> Chat, you heard it. Make it happen. Yeah, yeah. Just make Matt. Comments. Yeah, yeah. No, throw down. Make, 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 make it. Make Matt Mercer know that I've I've challenged him to try to play some cyberpunk with me. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, now that we're done challenging people that don't exist, uh, who wants to give us a little <laughs> recap for inspiration? I can totally do that, Zasha, if you will, DM. Zasha, Zasha. So, last week's episode was a little short due to some technical difficulties, but what we did happen was we were sitting at the bar enjoying our fine elvish wine when a mysterious cybernetic cowboy-laden outfit looking dude busted in the door named painkiller and fired three blasts of his anti-material rifle towards a certain dude named falcon falcon the finder falcon the something falcon uh, the, the hunter Gun. it was falcon the hunter falcon the hunter thank you blasted him three times totally wrecking his shit 
Um, after he blasted him, the party got involved. Severin immediately, uh, un- unsurprisingly due to, to how he is, immediately went up to the painkiller, disarmed him, knocked him prone, knocked him on his ass. Zath and Zasha ganged up on him, tried to get him uh, to be held down. I used manacles. Zath used his inspiration and I believe silvery barbs. Didn't work, but whatever. He was down and and we continued. The Falcon, Falcon the Hunter, ended up running to the back room and Clover and I believe Lucian followed immediately. Mm-hmm. Um, upon them following, once Severin disarmed uh, Painkiller, Deidre, uh, used, using quick wit, ended up uh, uh, collecting the weapon, the anti-material uh, rifle that Painkiller dropped, and after arguing a little bit with the tavern owner, decided to still keep the weapon in her hands. So she still has that anti-material rifle. Um, Falcon went into the back. Clover offered to help heal him. He was a little loosey-goosey about it, whether he wanted that healing. And currently, Lucian and Clover are in the back room trying to negotiate with Falcon the Hunter. Meanwhile, in the main room, um, the cybernetic guy got sick of our shit touched something on his helmet and a big what i can only describe as a t-bone steak popped out of his head and after about 20 minutes of severin and zath beating their meat uh trying to disarm this this t-bone steak on the floor uh he decided to just bounce out just totally dipped out dimension doored out of the room leaving severin on the floor wondering what happened zath with his sword in the ground looking at this meat melting away and in between there, somewhere, why I have low hit points, Zasha got blasted, absolutely annihilated, by a guiding bolt from a random tavern patron who he decided to teleconnect- telekinetically shove later on to get out of his way, a little infuriated by that, who he, who he originally scared by jumping up on a table two feet away from this patron, a giant, you know, six, almost seven foot tall dragonborn scaring the shit out of tavern keeper or not tavern keeper tavern patron sorry and at the time of our episode restarting we have falcon the hunter in the back with lucian and clover zasha's making his way deidre has the anti-material rifle and severin and zath are still looking at this melting piece of meat on the floor bm take it away excellent recap uh yes that brings us to the scene uh Clover, Lucian, Zasha, and Deirdre have made your way towards the back where Falcon the Hunter is, and Zathariel and Severin are over where the painkiller had uh, disappeared. Um, let's start with the the group in the back that has Falcon the Hunter. What are you all uh, up to? Oh, uh, sorry, I was waiting for the recap to end. Uh, I, I uh, wanted to share something really quick. I literally, I don't want to... Normally, I wouldn't, like, just distract from actual gameplay to go back to our corporate overlords, but I just got an email right now that W is doing a sale this week, and the entire store is 35% off. Nice. Yeah, so, you know, just want to throw that out there as part of our corporate overlord announcement that W is doing a 35% off sale this week, so please... This is the time to go use that coupon code purple nurple. Um, I do. Uh, uh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Use the code purple nurple for. Well, well yes, off, you use the code purple nurple. But I was trying to bring the email back up so that I could uh, uh, confirm the exact details of the sale. But thirty five percent off the entire store. Uh, I just don't remember. I, I I didn't see when the sale ends. I would like to put that information out and, um, oh, there it is. Well, there we go. Put, yeah, that so could be, that could be put out in chat. Thank well, you. massive Labor Day um, sale, 35% off until Monday at midnight. So tomorrow at midnight, folks, 35% off until tomorrow at midnight. Monday, midnight. Support your favorite Ube flavored Holy Healer Dragonborn. Let's go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Continue. So, uh, as I was saying, we'll start with uh, Clover, Lucian, and Zasha in the back with uh, the Falcon the Hunter. He is he is he is taking some blows and is definitely bleeding and is not looking too good. 
uh, DM, are you bringing us uh, into the tavern? Absolutely. Thank you for that reminder. All right. So then I will activate the uh, the map. All right. So uh, where where are we right now? Who's who's who is the center of uh, attention? Where should the camera be focused? Uh, pan south to uh, Zasha. There we uh, go. Over. There we go. Thank you. That's what I oh, needed. Twitch chat. Twitch chat. Sorry, technical issues. Zasha's usual lizard face will not be in chat tonight. Apologies. Hey, what? what? I'm. I, I see your there. your reactive images popping up. Oh no! Don't worry about it. I'm talking about Twitch. I I drop some lizard faces and. Oh 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 oh! oh God, I'm so confused, <laughs> no, no. man. Man, you cannot call <laughs> out technical that. issues to and 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 what, dude, dude, dude. <laughs> okay. Come well, on I'm now! Uh, you chat. say technical I'm issues, and I'm looking for chat. what the fuck is wrong with my setup here. <laughs> I'm doing it for chat. If there's ever an issue with you there, D uh, or Dave, in this game, of course I'd let you know. But <laughs> well, yeah, but I go. felt like you Over were. That's what I'm saying. It was poorly worded. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so jumping back to the scene, uh, Clover, you had ran back there first, and we're engaging with uh, Falcon. Why don't you start us off with? Uh, you, you know the situation. Well, we had, or I had tied him up, correct? Yes. Yes, he oh, is yeah, restrained. Oh yeah, he's got those wicked knot skills. Yeah, it uh, wrapped him right up like a Christmas present. So, I guess my first question is to Lucian, who kind of came in here all hot at this guy. I just adapted to the situation. What are what are we doing with him? What's the problem with him? And apparently he's a slaver. Oh, okay. The uh, Clover pulls the knots hey, a little bit tighter you, you to make them a little that. uncomfortable. That's all hearsay. So give us a reason to doubt him. Give me a reason to believe him. <laughs> this is Alberton. Non-humans don't exactly get by easily out here. They get by a lot easier than they used to. That's true, but it doesn't change the fact that, you know, it's <laughs> it's still not exactly friendly. You got me tied up. Go through my pocket. See what you find. Tell me I'm That's a slaver. That's a fabulous idea. I mean, like, you're probably a slaver, but yeah, let's look. All right, uh, give me a investigation. While this is going on, Zasha finally arrives to the back room, looking at Falcon. I said halt for the third time, and I slap him. I full on slap him. He he can't put up a fight, so yeah, you slap him pretty good. I get him good. <laughs> Uh, Clover with the 10, you notice, uh, right away he's got a quiver, bow, short, short dagger, uh, upon his persons, a small backpack, you know, um, basic traveling goods, a mess kit, bedroll, some rations, water skin, torch, things, excuse me, all oh, things of that nature. Is, are there any, like, markings or symbols on any of his gear or clothing? Not that you notice. Not would that Zasha recognize? Would Zasha recognize him from any wanted posters or previous cases he's worked on as a guard? I would allow a history check. History check. Let's go. First roll of the night, ladies and gentlemen. While and others... Zasha is contemplating uh, the the depths of history, I would like to do a medicine check 16. to determine how hurt he is. Okay, give me your medicine. That was a 16 for a history roll. For that Sasha. was a 13 on medicine check. Uh, his wounds are still bleeding, which is not usual for what you're, the type of weapon you used to. Alright, I am going to use... I say you are, you are bleeding, dragon friend, and I'm going to use my stigmata. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Are you healing Zasha or, or Zasha. Falcon? No, Zasha. Oh, my, my apologies. Rewind. Zasha is hurt. Um, <laughs> his wounds are not unusual. Yes, you're, you're, you're welcome to heal on my apologies. Uh, roll, uh, tell us the, 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 the health toll. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but I, I guess what the reason why I was trying to do a medicine check was to determine how much I might need to burn to heal him fully. That is a wonderful question. On a scale of 1 to 39, I can use maybe another, uh, let's say, 12 to 13 hit points to be full, but right. your choice on that. At this current level, giving you that would knock me out. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Severin is going to burn <laughs> 10 of his hit points with Stigmata, and, uh, whoops, I targeted the wrong dude. 10 of his hit points with Stigmata... And uh, Zasha regains five. Wonderful, wonderful. While you're doing that, as I just finished slapping Falcon, I'll put my hand on your shoulder and kind of lean into it. And, like, thank you. And you see wounds open up on Severin's body, mirroring the wounds that are closing on Zasha's. Sorry. It didn't heal me in the tech. How, how much again for pit? Oh no no no! Uh, sorry, the uh, the ability does not function in Foundry. So uh, yeah, you you okay, have to much? just give yourself five hit points. Five hit points. Got it. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, with a sixteen, uh, Zasha, you do not recall anything about this particular gentleman. Are his arms uncovered? He is wearing long sleeves. I'm going to cut away uh, the sleeves to see if he's bearing the SA tattoo. He is not bearing the SA tattoo, but there are um, scars on his arm indicating he has had uh, some sort of a life give me a medicine check to see if you can recognize what those scars are from. Sure. Medicine. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. With the nice. the way that the, the uh, scars wrap around the wrist and, and down the arm, uh, this gentleman spent time on a ship and helped uh, either pull the mast or pull the anchor up. Um, but that is where the scar on his arms is from. Hmm. Not typically something you see this far inland. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Actually, I can cast detect thoughts here. Like I, we're trying to de 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 we're trying to determine if this guy is a slaver, right? Is what we're doing here. Yes, yes that's kind of the idea. And just a reminder to s sit a little closer to your mic there, Zach. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I got you. Detect thoughts okay. at fourth level. Yeah, that's a level two spell. Oh nice. shit! I didn't. I thought it was higher. Nope. Yeah, so I can definitely do that. So Zathariel will kind of, what upon like he would have followed Severin over to this room anyway. So uh, he um, would like walk into the room and see what's up. You know, this dude's all tied up, kind of crouch in front of him and lock eyes with him, and we'll cast detect thoughts. I'm already concentrating on something. Oh, I think I cast Bane earlier. We're good. Yeah. Yeah, it was Bane. Super needed Bane, by the way, at that time. All right. Uh, I'm sorry. And you're going to target in fact, in the Hunter, correct? Correct. Hey. All right. Nice. Uh, so you'll learn their surface thoughts. Um, Falcons, how do I get out of this situation? How the fuck do I get out of this situation? There's six of them. That's one of me. I'm going to die. I'm already bleeding. This is fucked. This is fucked. This is fucked. Like that's, oh that's man, look at the animation for Detect Thoughts. That's no. brilliant. Yeah, it's cool. And I wonder how long it's going to keep doing that for like a whole minute, though. As long as you <laughs> concentrate <laughs> on it. As long as you're. Uh, well, no. That's the thing. So is a, I can yeah. choose to probe deeper here as an action, right? Uh, uh, as an action, you can eat. Throw. Yes. You, you can either shift your attention to another creature or attempt to probe deeper into the same. Yeah, so I would like to probe deeper. So I have to roll wisdom? No, he does. Uh, they roll. What's your uh, spell casting DC? Your, your spell uh, DC? 
Um, eight plus uh, your spellcasting modifier plus your proficiency modifier. It's also right under your armor class on your character oh, sheet. Oh, 15. D spell DC 15. All right. Oh, Ooh. give me a break, y'all. Oh. oh, so you don't? You only get surface Cat thoughts, that's all. Uh, um, okay, and then I can choose to stop concentrating somehow to all stop right, this. So movement. on a fail, you get insight into its reasoning, if any, its emotional state, and something that looms large in its mind. This is something it worries over, loves, or hates. And you get the same thing. This guy is just generally worried that you're all going to kill him. I'm going to attempt to persuade him here to, like, calm him down. We've got him tied up, but uh, I've got it. You know, I'm on his level right here. So, you know, listen to me. Like, obviously, you know, the situation stacked against you. It was in your best benefit to be truthful to us. Our, uh, and I'll, we're trying to find out if this guy's a slaver, right? So is what business this man with hurt? slaves? Because this is the guy who got shot, right, by the, the bad dude? Yes. Yes. While he's talking, and maybe this will help uh, Zathariel's uh, um, uh, conversation towards him, I'm going to also use Stigmata on him, and I'm going to burn four hit points to give him two back. Okay, cool. I am now yeah, at so six like, hit points. Kind of like trying to convince him, like, just, you know, tell me what what business did that man have with you? Why was that man hunting you? As you say and... that, the uh, barkeep sets back, Hey, fuck y'all doing with my patron? Untie him now. Wh who do you think you I are? I immediately, Zasha immediately turns around, hammer in the bartender's face, be like, this is none of your business. You allowed these fuckers to come into your bar and fuck up this guy and fuck us up. Why don't you mind your own goddamn business while we do this? And you can tell he's getting pissed. And I will try to intimidate the bartender. Well, intimidation. Zasha's getting pissed. <laughs> but not enough to intimidate oh, the bartender. No. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Nat 20. Screw you, he DM. Love you. Goes, Damn, that's two in a row. Uh, I Mitch, Mitch, row. I, I, I warned you about this, didn't I, Mitch? I did. Didn't you I? Didn't did. I call you it? Did. Didn't fair, I call fair it? Warning. Fair warning. <laughs> you did. Fair Listen, warning. I, I don't. I don't know who you're raising your hammer to, but put it down. Or I'll get the fucking owner. Untie him now, and then you can have a peaceful conversation. But you're in no. You're in no. Severin position. will just begin untying. Like, like he he's just gonna reach for the ropes and start untying. This he 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 does not want to. Uh, provoke the bartender to to further violence in his establishment. Thank you. That's all I wanted. There's no reason to tie him up. He's obviously wounded. Needs some healing. Answer questions. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I did, at the, the very Wilder, least, I did go for healing first. <laughs> Zasha, seeing all this, just sighs at Severin being so kind and getting a little frustrated with the whole situation. I'll shove my way past the bartender. And I'll be talking to this patron after. Um, I am. I would like to after thing? after healing the guy. Could I uh, and, attempt? Uh, well, well, oh. you said you were, you said you were untying. Untying. Yeah. So why don't you while while you're doing that, let's see what Deirdre's doing because she didn't say anything. I can't be talking to the guy while I'm untying him. Well, Deirdre hasn't had has hasn't had a chance to speak. My thing's oh. short, Dave. Don't worry. <laughs> no, no, I was just, I was still in the process of doing things. <laughs> That's why I was, but go ahead, go ahead. If, if, if we want to move over, I'm just saying while I was untying him, I'd be talking to him. Um, honestly, I would just wa be walking forward because I had been conversing that with that one guy. I wanted to walk forward towards the group. And then I don't think I saw anybody get tied up, so I would definitely be a little bit questioning of that. And when the bartender says something about untying him, I'm going to be like, yeah. Like, we just saw this guy get shot just because somebody just yelled something about him being a slaver doesn't mean we just have to take everybody's word for face value, right? And then I would, like, to like hold this gun to my chest like I'm never giving it up. <laughs> <laughs> that is fair. Uh, so, Dave, what did you, were you trying to, you went into converse with Falcon as you untied him? 
Yeah, so uh, as I'm talking with him, I kind of want to maybe try and persuade him to be a little bit more uh, friendly and answer the questions that we uh, that, that Zathariel is asking him uh, so that we can uh, move along more easily. But also, I would like to... Uh, I. I would like to examine his wounds and see if uh, I know I already gave him two more hit, two hit points. Uh, I would like to see the seriousness of his wounds if I could do a medicine check on him. Yeah, give me a medicine check. All right, and I'm going to use the inspiration I got for that awesome joke at the at the uh, 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 intro. And have a 15 instead of an 8. Uh, wonderful. There are things lodged in this gentleman's body from the shots he took, and it is causing him to bleed. Um, your healing definitely helped, but he needs um, some sort of actual medical attention to heal his wounds, otherwise it might go, you know, uh, come infected or something like that you're not really sure but if you don't fix take the steps down to fix it it'll be worse in the long run okay so here's what i'm gonna do i would like to attempt to persuade him to uh uh answer zathariel's questions and i'm hoping that what i'm about to do might give me advantage on the persuasion check what i'm about to do is heal him three more hit points, which is enough to uh, put me at zero. But because of the stigmata ability, if I use my last hit point to heal somebody with it, I instead drop to one hit point and go unconscious. So I am going to burn the last of my hit points to heal this man as much as I possibly can and knock myself out in the process as I ask him to answer Zathariel's questions honestly, and I knock the fuck out. But I'm hoping oh, uh, I get advantage on my persuasion check when I do. If you don't pass yours, I'll pass mine F plus seven. Like, <laughs> I know, but... That is, like, that, that is a really sweet gesture, but you don't know this man, and you just touched him, healed him, and basically dropped dead in front of him. Yep. I will give you. I'll give you a straight roll, um, but the DC is lowered because of what you're doing. Now, no, that's no that's you, uh, that you know what I, I I will say that that is uh pretty damn close to 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 what I was going for, and be happy with it. And uh, uh, I'll be sure to try at least try to catch. Severin before he Oh him. fuck Hey oh, man bruh. listen to my friend and just uh, and starts seizing and falls over. <laughs> this guy's like, What the fuck's wrong with this guy? This is what happens when you play D D for six hours. RN Jesus leaves. Hey, um, <laughs> I still got my inspiration from last game. If you wanna use it to Oh shit! Oh, there you go. He's dishing his inspiration. Thank you. I love you so much. I will definitely take it. Oh! You you are much more graceful in the moment. You uh don't don't <laughs> fizz as much. Uh, there's not as much foam. And you're like, just, just listen to my friend answer his questions. Take this healing. Uh, and Falcon's like, what the fuck is? Who are these people? <laughs> And he's going to look at you, Zathar, all, what the fuck do you have to say? What did that guy that shot you want with you? Why is he hunting you? Hey, Zathar, uh, like, by I'm now, how, how, how long did your detect thoughts last? Uh, um, for the duration. One minute. Yeah, for one minute. Okay. I don't know. I've been right-clicking everything to try to figure out how to stop it. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how to make it stop. Um, but yeah, the Wait, goal of this action is just no. to persuade this guy. Why did to... you roll initiative? I don't think I, I did. I, that, that's my fault. I didn't mean to make him roll initiative. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh... Sorry, We're all good. Let's move on. Zap, yeah. ask this guy. Yeah, uh, trying to persuade him to to explain himself. Uh, I, so I that's a persuasion roll. Uh, you, you give me a persuasion. 
Hey. 24. Hey, man. But there's I, no I'm sitting, waiting for my buddy, and that guy came in and fucking shot me. And then y'all start chasing me. I'm just as confused. Do you know who that was? Because it seems like you do. Yeah. A witch. All we know is that he said you were a slaver. It is your best interest, to be honest with us, to clear your name. It's not there's, about what we can't prove at this point. There's six of you and one of me. I'm trying to cooperate. I I don't know what that guy was talking about. You tied me up. I'll let you search me. What more do you want? Hey, this um, guy's not lying. It's some, he seems pretty genuine to me. Hey, Zath. There might be a point that we haven't considered yet. With what? whatever that painkiller guy was using that's that's something we've never seen before what if among his abilities maybe he's from some variant of the future um so like you raise an interesting point i i don't oh, know shit. What? if he's going to be coming back for us or what but at the moment we have this man's life in our hands are we letting him go or like what are we doing clover you're the one who tied him up is there any reason that we hold him he seems genuine to me i can't prove he's a slaver or not neither am i able to cast um heart sight again like could he willingly fail the heart sight save Ooh. Hey, Zathariel, can you do me a favor? Yeah. Cast another concentration spell and then don't consume the spell slot. I'm trying to get rid of that detect thoughts animation. And it's because I don't have it's like, like it's acting like you're still concentrating on it, but I don't have you concentrating on anything. So in order to get rid of it, I might need you to do something else. There we go. There we go. It's still doing it, though. Damn. Wow! I can go punch. I can go punch Zaf, and you know. I I, I well no, but like yeah, I even I, I even deleted the token and then put him back on, and it's still doing it. I don't know. We might just have Zathariel detecting thoughts for the duration of this fucking episode. <laughs> Sorry, Chad. At least it's pretty. <laughs> Moving on, though, right? It's pretty. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Why? Why do we have this guy climbed up, tied up, Clover? Oh, hard sight. That's what we're doing. Oh wait, wait. Oh, I've got you. Heart sight. Heart sight. Uh, sorry, Dave. Uh, deal with what you need to. Heart sight, DM. Uh, can the guy either willingly fail or can she cast it on him the, and the, the, uh, yes. make a roll? And anyone who knows about the ability can choose to willingly fail. Are you, okay. telling, are you telling this gentleman about it and asking him to fail is the question. Okay, I say... You have to have. Yes, I'd say, sir, I'm sorry for tying you up so hastily. I think I, you know, my friend and I might have acted a little too quickly with the information we've given. But as you may have noticed, I'm Fay and content. And if you will allow me to willingly see into your heart and I can see that you're good, I will untie you and I will finish your healing and we promise we will get you somewhere safe to get help who the fuck are you to tell me how things are going to be this is your fate yep that's that's kind of rude don't you think yeah. i mean that was all pretty rude pretty too do you have a i can keep you tied up if that's a more preferable outcome i mean why do you think you just tie people up why do you think you can <gasps> enslave I people it. i fixed it <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I I'm just excited that I fixed it. <laughs> uh, Clover, it's it's obvious that just this gentleman is is not gonna just willingly let you do his thing, uh, but you can force him to make a roll if you'd like. Well, technically, she could just make an attack roll, and if she hits, she just doesn't. Do, she can make an unarmed strike and just not do damage. That is Am another way for her twice? to force. I, I think I tried last episode. Yeah, you did. Oh yeah, oh, right. if he already yeah. passed, then he she can't he, she can't do it again. That is correct. So your threat is empty because you can't even do it. Would you like to change what you had said? 
threatening him with the heart sight. Mm. I was hoping that it, we could bargain with it of, oh, if I knew he was good, I would leave him. But, you know, obviously he's not good. He just might not be bad in the ways that we had expected. You know? Yeah. He, may be, he might be a jerk, but he may or may not be a slaver. And he's probably not any, you know, issue or harm to us. I think it's worth just untying him. It, well, I as separate I've already side. untied him. Yeah. Right. We just let him go. I don't. What yeah. else are we? Get, you know, I don't think we're gonna get much information out of him. At this point, it's it's in our best interest probably to like let this situation. Well, did he answer like, Zakaria's questions? Blasting. Uh, yeah. We all I asked him was like, why, uh. Why is that guy hunting him? And uh, he, said, he said he didn't know. Yeah. I mean, is it is it any business of ours what he does? Like, I don't, I don't know. I think we got to let this guy go. That's where I'm at. That's where Zath is at. Like, this situation is drawing too much attention to us anyway. Yeah. We got our we got our rooms. This guy got shot. He didn't do the shooting. Yeah, yeah. I, I I don't like it, but yeah, I at this point I don't really think we really have any other recourse. Unless we want to just like straight up kidnap this fucking guy and see who comes for him, but I don't think that's in our our best interest. The, the barkeep yeah. did voice that he doesn't want trouble in the bar. Unless Can we I, decided that we're a group of vigilantes, there is no reason we should be holding this man hostage. Yeah, I say we we'll let him go. Can, can, with with everybody talking, can Zosh just interject because I've had about five minutes after I've walked away here. So, is that okay, DM? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, so first off, I'm just going to go to this guy. I'm going to drop five silver on the table and be like, sorry for the scare, enjoy a drink on me. Five silver. I walk to the front door and looking at these four patrons sitting on the side, I'm going to ask, I'm going to try to persuade them. Do any of you smooth skins have any balls to be able to try to help what just happened here? If so, follow me. And I'm going to walk at the front door as I figure out how to do doors in D&D. &D. <laughs> Hoping. You literally just click on it, bro. Yes, I know. So I'm hoping some of them will follow me out because I want to take a posse out if they come. I'm trying the to make doors, this the, the doors auto shut behind you, and no one follows. No one follows. Cool. Can I make a perce perception check while I'm outside just to see? Absolutely. At the front door. Perception check. Folly. Perception <laughs> check. Natural one. I am angry. I am upset. I have been blasted in the face. I just wanted to have a beer and go to sleep. Walk back inside. And then as everybody's talking and after like the five minutes of chatting here, hearing about them about to let him go, I'm going to walk up to this guy. I'm going to pick him up by the scruff just after he's untied, slam him against the wall and be like, so what the hell is going on? I just got blasted in the face. You just got blasted in the face. I am tired, and I just want to sleep. What is your problem? And what it was that guy's problem? And I'm going to try to intimidate this guy next, if you will allow, DM, to just spill the beans. Is this a good time to mention again that Severn is lying unconscious on the floor? Uh, when you know you're there, I we'll see you, Severn. This is not I, the I, first I, time. I will get to you. As I, 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 will get to you. <laughs> I will get to you. I will get to you. Honestly, Severin has spent more time unconscious from Stigmata than he has active in, uh, since we've been playing. We're used to this. You'll be fine. We'll carry yeah. you. We'll put you up. It's fine. Well, I mean, again, yeah, we'll but, but this is something I can recover with resting, and that's why I do it. Uh, so, so, Zasha, give me a strength check to see if you can lift this gentleman up by the scruff. Mm. Strength check. Ability check. Mm. I better be able to. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what I do. Yeah, I am you, mad. Man. You you guys haven't seen Zasha this pissed off before. He just wants to sleep and enjoy his brew, and this has not gone his way. He is <laughs> furious. Absolutely. Uh, give me your intimidation. Come on, intimidation. Oh, my God. Told you. Hey, hey I come man, in I'm fumbling a little. All full steps. Go, go, uh, sorry, DM. Go ahead. Uh, you 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 make your play the gentleman who just reads up. 
I don't know, man. I'm fucking bleeding. This dude shot me. There's six of you. There's one of me. What the fuck do you want? Like, like you can see this guy is legit just, like, scared right now. He's scared right now. Can I make an insight check to see if he's really scared or if he's just trying to play things off? I know it's a insight. lot of rolls. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a little better. A 19. Whatever this guy was feeling before you walked in, it doesn't matter because he right now this guy's just scared. Like you, you are scaring him. Like yes, you didn't, I am you a didn't, six. You didn't over you didn't, six foot tall. You didn't, you didn't intimidate him. You, you you just made this guy scared. Like he just wants you to. He just wants to be left alone so he can fix. Zasha, it. your boots are wet. My boots are wet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well. After picking him up, failing my intimidation, but realizing he's scared, I'm going to put him down, grab him by the chin, want to squish, but I don't squish. I muffle his face a little bit and be like, guys, what are we doing here? Are we vigilantes? Are we trying to help this other guy who's unconscious? What the fuck are we doing? And I put him down forcefully. I don't even let him drop. I forcefully put this guy down. I am pissed. I mean, and you also see the air around Zasha starting to get a little wavy, like when he did his <laughs> dragon breath thing. I mean, over the table, this was just supposed to be a fucking stop at our way to the goddamn of course, to, of course. to to your I, hometown. Am, well, we got blasted. I am bro, role so. playing, and, and no, I, I get I it, I get it. That's why I said that's why I said over the table, yeah, but also yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah. I have a stress meter for Zasha, and he is getting up there, guys. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. something needs to get resolved here. 6079. I, I thought we were stopping the slaver. I thought somebody was bad. I don't. I, I think we just need to get out of here. And she casts cure wounds on the guy and heads well, out. Up. So you notice that your spell heals them, but the the wounds don't close like they normally do. They're still open and. Uh, okay, the cool. The barkeep is going to speak at this point and be like, "Listen, listen, listen." Somebody's leave, got leave their mic uh, uh, hot with background noise. You 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 pestered my patron enough. Back to your table. I'll, I'll have fresh stew brought out and some and some fresh bread. Just stop. The no more fights. Uh, Zasha, you should probably grab Severin before we walk out of here. Just throw him over your shoulder. Uh, yeah. That yeah. After, 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 seeing, after seeing Clover heal this guy and hearing what she says, I just say to Clover, I like, kind of taking a breath. Good enough. Fine by me, and I grab Severin by the back of his monk robes and start dragging him out. And I'll say to the bartender on my way to the stairs, dragging Severin, send it to my room, and I toss my other five silver of my gold piece to the bartender. And I'm dragging Severin and me to the room wherever I have. I don't even care if I know the room. I'm going to kick in every door until I find my large bed. <laughs> And you can just throw I mean, Severin think... in the corner, and he'll wake up and be perfectly fine with it. <laughs> I'm gonna guys oh, and head spot. back to our table and drink some wine. I think this Over is the table, table Zasha has actually put Severin properly in bed, because although he's mad, he is still a respectful person. Deep down, he's just very stressed. So, Zasha and Severin return to our rooms. I get, I get room service. I put Severin in bed, and that's the end of my my bar day. Uh, yeah, DM. I'll just go follow everybody. Uh, I don't wake up until I receive healing, but if he's throwing me in bed, I could take an I could take a short rest and be conscious in an hour. I think we're probably gonna rest here tonight, right? Like we all just rejoined our table, but he put so you to that, bed. That, that, right, but but Anyone also. Else? Well, whether or not we're long resting or not, we're talking about when Severn regains consciousness. That's that. That's why I wanted to uh, do that. Well, so what is the rest? So uh, Zasha took Severn upstairs. What's the rest of you doing? You're going back to your table, eating and drinking. Is there anything else you want to do with your time, or do you want to retire to, to your uh, to your beds? I'm gonna finish my drink, 
eat when the food comes out, and go to bed. Is the ghostly presence that I felt earlier still lingering, or is it gone after the fight? It is still there, but it is frantic. Frantic? Can I tell where the source of the energy is coming from? Uh, you will have to spend some time investigating that, um, if you would like to do that. I would. Okay, give me a wisdom check. Wisdom. Good check, good check. Mm -hmm. yeah. There is a another layer to this establishment that you don't see an entrance to, but that's where the source is coming from. It's coming from below. From below? Yes. Uh, a basement or some sub uh, uh area. Uh, and as you're doing that, a gentleman comes out from the stables and joins uh, Moros, the barkeep, in uh, trying to treat Falcon's wounds. Uh, Clover, while every, all this is happening, what are you doing? Probably licking my wounds, a little embarrassed and confused about, like what our team's really doing. Um, I might go back to the room and tend to my, my garden and get a good night's rest. Okay. Uh, Zathariel, are you uh, heading back to the room for bed? Or are you going to hang out with Deirdre? What are, you, what are you thinking? So, upon rejoining the table with everyone, Zathariel's wine glass is still sitting there, undisturbed, after like a dramatic kind of swirl of it in a long drink to kind of cool his nerves uh he is going to intentionally like make him like make note of everybody left in the bar after all that like none of these people like fled so if we end up being followed tomorrow he wants to be kind of on the lookout uh to the party though like as we're i'm gonna eat dinner too like with lucian and everybody we're gonna munch up and then go to bed but uh as he just kind of in reconciliation like i think we all got a little carried away we got ambushed you know whatever's going on with this falcon guy i think that we'll be able to find out more later but we did the right thing letting him go and he'll kind of nod his wine glass at the gentleman that joined him to heal him up so like see he's being taken care of uh so then after you know that brief word of on the situation and a very intentional look at whoever's watching him or you know, like maybe that's a perception is anybody Paying particularly close attention to us so that we should be making note of. The bar patrons are paying you mind, but only because you just tied one of the other bar patrons up. It's more of like, hey, you guys acted crazy, so we're keeping an eye on you, but we're not watching you because of anything. Word. Then, upon finishing his meal and several more glasses of wine, Zathario will go to bed as well. Deirdre, do you want to pursue this uh, lead, or do you want to reconvene with the group and get some sleep? Part of me would love to pursue it, and part of me doesn't know if that spirit is necessarily going to be helpful in the path. So if I could send some more about the spirit itself that might be helpful to our journey, then I want to pursue it. But if I just think it's a wayward spirit and it's not easy to get to anyways and I'm going to spend half of my sleep trying to look for it, I'll go to bed and look for more spirits on the path to uh, Cloudshire. You've never actually been here before. You've only been on you know, a small portion of this establishment. You don't know how long it would take you to follow this lead. All right, how about just before I go to bed, I want to do an outer perimeter check to see if they have one of those hatches that opens up that goes downstairs into the basement. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. You're going to go alone? 
Looking for I mean, storm, she's so. the rogue. This is, I yeah, mean, doing right. the That's stealthy. Does, yeah, I will absolutely right. do uh, drop a gun off in our room somewhere and stash it and then do a stealth check for this. If you'll let me. They'll never uh, let me. Yeah, give me a stealth check. You kind of got to let the rogue do the sneak bitch thing because that's what the sneak bitch does. <laughs> it was a little sneaky. Give me a... Uh, oh, eight seems pretty good. Since, since yeah. you're searching, give me an investigation. Oh. Bum, bum, bum. Well... This is a really big building. Oh, that's the front door again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. While she is sneaking around, uh, Severin would have woken up because I did go ahead and take my short rest. And if I'm in the room with Zasha, I would like to begin a conversation with him. We don't have to interrupt what she's doing to resolve that. I just want to throw it out, out there. I would also like to throw out, I have like a five minute thing before he even wakes up. But let's get through uh, Dietrich though. Yep. Well, Deirdre, is there anything else? You'll probably make me do another investigation check for it unless you'll let me make a perception for, check for it. If I could just sit inside and see if I can see what looks like any secret, secret doors inside the bar room. But if I don't see anything, I'm going to bed. You'd have to roll an investigation to find something like that. That's not something you can just look around and see. Perceive. Unless, yeah, unless, you. unless you are uh, of a particular race that gives you that advantage, which you are not. No, I, I am not. And I didn't like the way that the bartender talked to me earlier, so I'm not going to go ask him for pertinent information. So I will give up this quest for now. Hey, bartender, can you tell me where your secret hidden room is? Yeah, Ooh. I'm not going to do that. He already suspects me for trying to make bread in his uh, establishment, and I just wanted flour to pick and stew on the road. Stew. All right, well, uh, that's a great chance for us to jump over to uh, Zasha, yeah. who is doing a little thing before it's ever yeah. makes up, which doesn't sound creepy at all. I mean... <laughs> it's not like that. It's hey, just, it's not like that. Dude, so, oh, come so, on. Are you saying Severin isn't yeah. sexy enough for you? <laughs> no, I'm not into bears, thank you very much. Oh, uh, so, so, so after the whole thing, I drag Severin upstairs by the collar. I go to the different doors. I start knocking on them, checking the door knob. Every time I hear, hey, or whatever is going on, I move on to the next one. Until I eventually find my room with the larger bed and a regular size bed. I go into the room and I do take Severin and put him down properly on the bed. Don't do anything with him, just whatever. He's going to sleep. I've seen this happen before. I sit down on my bed and while grasping and face palming this entire time, I'm going to slowly take off my greaves, take off my gauntlets my chain mail, my robes, until I'm down to basically like my pants and my undershirt. Put them all aside and what the camera would see would see me sitting there. I have my holy symbol in my hand, in one hand, a journal in the other. And I'm just contemplating. I look out the window. Is it still daytime? Is there a window? You've stopped here because it was turning dark, and it is now uh, after sunset. It's after sunset, and do we have a window in our room? Uh, oh, oh yes. it's it's after sunset. Oh my gosh, Joe, you should have said something because if it's after sunset, we can turn it. Hey, tonight. there we go. Turn down the dim lights. But yes, so, okay, it's after sunset, um, I'm seeing it's getting dark, I'm getting ready for bed, I go to the window, and I'm just staring at one particular star in the sky, one that I've been staring at for the last, oh god, 20, 35 years, and I 
actually take off my holy symbol, hold it in my hand, and I say, what the hell am I doing here? You need to answer this question, or I'm just going to turn around. I don't know what I'm doing with this fucking weirdo as I look at Severin, or with these people who are dragging me into fights as I kind of turn my head to the door. Please, for the love of all that's good and holy, give me a, give me something. And God, give me a sign. Respond, yeah, yeah, basically, <laughs> basically. And I stand there at the window until, you know, until I get a sign, or if I don't get a sign, I just sit on my bed frustrated, kind of half asleep, kind of looking at my journal. And until Severin wakes up, or until something happens, <sighs> that's what happens. This is a great time to note that you had negotiated a large bed and a small bed in your room. So Severin is in a small size creature's bed. Oh, just oh. All, all, all uncomfortable. Uh, definitely gonna wake oh, up with a couple of cranks in his back and neck, uh, which you didn't realize. You're right I now. You're forgot like, about you're like, that. Oh, Yes, right, right. Oh, but you oh. forget that that is like legit what he wants. So, yes, but I, I forgot that. Yes, my whole idea originally was you know Zasha and probably Clover would be rooming together just because you know hey she's on my backpack the whole time. I forgot I threw Severin in like a child size bed. Yes, <laughs> it, it, but, but, but what I'm there. saying That's is hilarious. like Seven Severin would like. <laughs> have a smile on his face as he realizes he's waking up with these crinks and crinkles, you know? <laughs> yes, yes. Severin's a fucking weirdo. Uh, we love him. <laughs> that is true. He is, he is. Uh, and I think that's a great place for us to, since we start a little bit late, take our uh, mid-session break. Yes. All right, ladies hey. and gentlemen, we are going to go on our 10-minute break. So... Uh, stay tuned. We will be back in just a few if I can um, stop hiccuping. Jesus Christ. It's like the stream views live again. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. And last we uh, left off, people were getting into their uh, rest and taking a little overnight nap in the inn. So let's get us back to DM Snack King Joe. Take it away, Joe. Excellent. Uh, so, Zasha, you had uh, taken off your armor, given a, a little prayer to your god, and I'm... I'm guessing you're either sitting next to your bed or on your bed looking uh, a little distraught, somewhat uh, stressed out, uh, as uh, Severin uh, wakes up uh, in a child-sized bed in the room with you. Yes, I am discordant. I am just staring into my journal, holding my holy symbol, looking Zasha. down at it as he wakes up. Yeah, Zasha, uh, as Severin this, wakes uh, up, he out. starts stretching with audible snap crackles and pops. And uh, the the world. turns uh, turns his legs over the edge of an ill-fitting bed, and uh, makes absolutely zero note mention or acknowledgement of the uh, sleeping conditions that he was in. And uh, he turns to Zasha and he says, "Dragon friend, so please tell me what happened after I healed." The, the 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 victim of those strange weapon wounds. I'm gonna look up the Severn as he asked me this, seeing him snap, crackle, and pop his way awake, and just shake it, shake my head, and be like, "The same shit that usually happens. Nothing good. We talked to him. He got healed up. We didn't learn a goddamn thing. And now we're sitting here in our bedrooms." We'll see what happens in the morning. I don't know, man. It's... We... I don't know. I don't know what we're doing, man. We... We are walking 
the path. Uh, we are walking the path of Ilmeter. Or I am walking the path of Ilmeter, and you have sworn yourself to protect me on it. I... Not all of what we witness will make sense at first, but I have a feeling that we will get answers along the way. I'm going to stare at him for a good solid minute as he says that. Just empty space, look at him. And then just shake my head and be like, I swore myself to you. I'm here now. You know, Apex gave me this job. And as much as I despise everything sometimes... I guess this is, if this is what it's meant to do, Ilmeter, I, and I literally yell, Ilmeter, Lamvan, whatever your fucking plans are, give us a little guidance for God's sake. And, I and just, at that, I Severin will, my, uh, flip, what, what do I know? Can I make a religion check about the, the God's name that he spoke? Which would be Lamvan. Yes, give me a uh, religion check. I'm just gonna say while he does that. I'm just gonna say while he does that. I slam my journal shut, turn away, and get all grumpy and curl into my bed. My Eleven bed. on the religion. That is not a uh, deity you've heard spoken of before. And I will say this. I say out loud to Zasha. I say, I I, I do not know this deity's name. But what can you tell me about him? What can you tell me about? Your service to this to this god. And while I'm bu busy being pouty, I'm just gonna kind of turn my head and be like, "What's there to tell? He came to me, showed me some dreams, and now all of a sudden I'm I'm here. So I lost he my spoke job. To I lost my home. Dreams personally. I lost my I lost my parents, and now I am here with you, getting fucking blasted in a tavern, and I." turn my head back, and I don't answer his question. Uh, please, friend, I, I want to know more. I beg you. Let me rest there, Severin. Oh, let me rest there, oh, high one. I will talk another day. Now at this, time. at and this, uh, my blanket over myself. at this, Severin will nod and uh, uh, lay down to rest as well. Excellent. And with the exciting new technology of stream magic, it will now be daytime. <laughs> oh, wait, you need me? Oh, I thought you, you were indicating that you'd found... Oh, you did. Okay, good. <laughs> you found the button. <laughs> And we'll put you all around the table uh, as you come down the next morning. Uh, rest it from your long rest. And, uh, you know, that is, that's where we'll pick it up. You had paid for, uh, at least Lucian had, uh, you know, a night's sleep. Uh, food for the night before and food for the next day. Uh, so there is a breaded breakfast, uh, porridge, eggs, bacon, some uh, local fruits that are fresh. Uh, some sort of breakfast beer and uh, water that is made available to you. And you all will find yourself here at the table in the wolf woeful leaves. Zasha was probably the earliest one to wake up because I am always an early riser and he's probably already two breakfast beers in and about five pounds of bacon in. That is probably about at least two hours false. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> Just gonna say Severin's ritual of getting up, I mean, in a monastery, man, like two hours before sunrise was bare minimum. Hey, man, 5 a.m. guard duty. I need to be up before everybody else gets up. So I understand the struggle. 
so yeah, I would say we would probably just be like naturally waking up together and <laughs> at the same time. Dirt fucking O oh, Dark 30. Excellent. Uh, the breakfast wouldn't be served until everyone was at the table, therefore to keep everything uh, fresh and delicious. Uh, obviously, you know, some bread, uh, some small meats, uh, a breakfast beer or two is served to you before then. If there were, uh, uh, if there was time before the rest of the party joined us, then Severin would like to go for a walk around the grounds. The grounds are not that large, but yes, you can do that. I would just Sasha like would. to go ahead and survey the entire area, check out the stables, just like really just, you know, walk through and make sure I've seen everything that is publicly available to see. Zasha would also be outside having his morning smoke break, watching Severin wander the building, just to keep an eye on him. Nothing more. Give me a perception check, Severin. Um, can we take my passive? Uh, if you're actively surveying the grounds, no. Okay, but I have the observant feet. That's why I was going with that. I'm, I'm, I'm saying I have a passive perception of 21. But what's your active perception there, Severin? All That's right, let's the find like. the fuck out then. <laughs> I'm roll, just saying I notice up, shit. I'm just saying I notice shit. And you do with a 16. <laughs> which, that's what I'm saying, is my active is damn near always going to be lower than my passive, which means I still passively, as I'm walking around, notice anything that comes within my my uh, range. That's <laughs> That's why I took the feet. Uh, yes, but you did say you were actively surveying, um, so that means you are... No, I said I was walking around the grounds. You said I was actively surveying. You, you No, you said you wanted to survey the grounds. Those, that yeah, was I, your wording. Yeah, survey, I'm walking around surveying. surveying. Means, um, yes, so you're, yes, you're, you, you're going to have a semantics argument with me when I'm trying to, I'm trying to use my abilities to my advantage. I am saying... Roll I'm saying my plan was to use my abilities to my advantage. So if 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 I would if you're telling me that I would be better off passively surveying, then that's what I'm doing. With a 16 on your perception, okay. there is a An odd sound as you enter into the stables. It's not something you expect to hear from a horse or any sort of uh, beast of burden. It is a l low frequency rumbling sound. And I will get closer. Stables, it's, it's coming from. Uh, let's put you into. The yeah, stables, put me where actually. I need to be. It's not coming. I'm gonna from... put myself out. Outside in my usual spot while I'm resting by the wall. That's fine. Um, the first uh, double door area is a generic storage room. It's not stables where uh, horses or pieces of burden can be kept. Oh. And that's where the uh, the low frequency rumbling is coming from. I will press my ear to the door. And then... I will change the camera on OBS because I accidentally opened the door and I'm glad that I wasn't uh, 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 actively dem uh, showing that on stream <laughs> when I did that. So I'm going to press my ear to the door. Uh, whatever the source of the sound is, it's coming from behind the door. Uh, well, does pressing my ear to the door give me any kind of amplified uh, uh, indication of what is in there? Not what's in there, just a, just a confirmation of that's where the source is. Did I see uh, Zasha uh, outside? 
Uh, yes, you, you both would have been roughly the same time. Um, at this point, you'd be aware of your morning rituals, him with the smoke, and you with your uh, stretches or you know wandering of the grounds. All right, I am we going came at, to. We came at, it at the same time. I am going to come to the doorway here, and then try and non-verbally motion for Zasha's attention. And seeing this and being a guard, seeing him wave me over, I'll butt out what I have and start making my way towards him. And just nod as I get there. Uh, GM, uh, what kind of check would it be for me to possibly know uh, some kind of Guard sign language. Maybe Apex taught me some things uh, about how to communicate with guards non-verbally uh, uh, in certain ways. Is that possible? That would be a history check. History check it is. Is there any way I get advantage at this? Uh... No, uh, based on your particular history, the DCs are slightly adjusted for history checks. Uh, but unfortunately, with a nine, a little short of like a, a, a frantic wave uh, of your yeah. hand and a, a motion towards you. But th you would also know that this early in the morning, if you don't see anybody, you don't see anybody. Like, like the only people that are probably out here are you and Zasha. Well, no, well, no, 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 no. I mean, Zasha's here. I'm trying to think of how to non-verbally communicate with him about what I know in there. Well, well, how about this? So seeing him kind of fumble through some weird hand signal signs, trying to be like what you would see at a, a, a puppet show, like, oh, this is what military guys do. Yeah, something like that, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just kind of look at him funny. I'll take off my shield and I'll put up my arm. I don't have my hammer out, but put up my shield and then... For the first time, I believe for him, he'll hear in his head my my booming voice. Yo, what what is it? What's oh shit! Zasha busted and out use... the telepathy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. First time he's ever heard it in his mind. But I'm like five feet from him. He's, I'm, I'm asking him psionic mind. What's uh, going on? so question to the GM, uh, would there, w w would I know what this is or would this be like, huh? Uh, uh, uh. With your upbringing, you are aware of what telepathy is. Okay. This is so, not a thing. uh, when I feel Zasha's mind touch mine, I, uh, you know, uh, accommodate, it takes me maybe a minute to 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 acclimate to the the new uh, uh, voice in my head, but uh, I it's will. It's a little invasive. Not gonna lie. I it's a will because my voice is booming. But I do think that Severin trusts you almost intrinsically, so uh, uh, he's he's he. It may be a surprise, but not off-putting or not uh, considered disrespectful by him uh and he will uh relay everything that the the dm relayed to me thus far so there's something or someone after, behind yeah. that door over there making noises that don't sound about right can I make some kind of like insight check or something just to see like this could be stable hands inside just talking about their day, talking about the horses they have to deal with. Can I make an insight check on what he's telling you me? You can totally make an insight check and I will determine information. Yes. 18 there, do you? Oh, nice. What do I get? Severin definitely believes in what he's telling you. As for what the origins of that is, uh, it's it's hard to tell with an insight check. That's not what that check is normally used for. But, but at the very right, least, at the it. very least, uh, he knows I'm not just pulling shit out of my ass. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, it's definitely being 100% truthful. At this point, I'm going to walk up to the door, pat him on the back, and just slowly pull out my warhammer. But also, I'm going to test the door. I'm not going to open it. 
I'm just testing it. Is it unlocked or is it locked? I'm I will just stay. On it. I will stay uh, right at his shoulder. So the door is unlocked. I will look at him, give him a nod, and then yes, as you are positioning us, I will bust open the door with my hammer and be like, Alarim, Alarim Police Department. What is going on? And I'm going to go full guard, oh, even though I don't have my badge. I'm doing what I know. After, especially last night, I'm going full in. There is a hissing sound as a tabaxi male jumps up from out of the corner, uh, claws at the ready. Oh, what the fuck? Who? Who what? I cast command on him. The moment I see him, is he, wait. Before I do that, is he the only one in the room? Yes. Uh, this Maximum is he, very, very, very obviously wearing pajamas. <laughs> very obviously wearing pajamas. Well, still, I cast command on him, level one spell, and I'm gonna say, speak. That is my command for him to speak. Tar tar target and uh, cast your spell. I do not have a target to cast command. Uh, you no, no, no. You need to hover over him and cr uh, click T. Correct. Oh, there. He just finally popped up. Target, Hit. command, first level slot. Let's go. Six. He, he fails. fails hard. Do you speak Sylvan? Do I speak Sylvan? That is a good oh. question, DM, but I am almost this, sure this, this, that I do not. This Tabaxi gentleman not. is definitely talking to you, but you don't understand a fucking word they're saying. Zathariel speaks Sylvan. <laughs> but Zathariel well, is not, not even here. at the breakfast table yet. <laughs> it's a shame you're not here. This is like some 5, 5 a.m. hijack. Is there, oh, um, DM, is there any chance that there would be some words that are maybe uh, cognates between Sylvan and Elvish that like uh, uh, because I do know Elvish so maybe some of those words might just be oh shit I at least know um, I at least know that word right like because it's a cognate maybe in a normal situation but the fact that y'all just jumped into this man's room sleeping yeah that is not the situation uh i will say yeah. you 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 immediately get the vibe that this person is apologizing and is trying to appease you even though you don't speak the same same language okay as okay uh, I'm they, going they, 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 they definitely have the vibe of like oh my god i'm so sorry i'm just sleeping uh okay I'm, i I'm would sleeping. like to we just, try we just and off this, guys. i would like to try <laughs> and like issue a calming presence of some kind maybe uh it, it would that be a persuasion check um you'll have to wait till the spell ends well the spell is yeah, only lasts I, around i commanded it does it last around or does it last? Command only there? lasts around. It's till right. the it, it's till it the end correct. of their next yeah. turn. Yeah, this person will just bust out all that stuff in Sylvan, um, and then basically just stare at the two of you to say something. All right, but I'm gonna try and persuade them to calm down and be very very bad at it. <laughs> okay, with his persuasion roll of a five this guy is not calming down i just bad cop this guy who is sleeping realizing that hey this might have not been something this might have been this guy just talking mumbling in his sleep or whatever i'm gonna put away my hammer my shield look at severin and just shake my head especially after yesterday shake my head and i'm gonna psionic mind he can understand me now yeah to this gentleman here that's sleeping, this tabaxi, two dry cloaks. and I say love to tabaxi him, names so much. Sir. I'm going to say, apologies, sir. We heard a disturbance. Alarim guard, just wanted to make sure you're okay. 
Can I have a pleasant try day. and make Apologies. an insight check on the tabaxi? I know I tried persuasion, but can I try and just make insight on him and like just a general insight check? What's your you, passive? You can probably insight? try. My as, passive insight is fucking you uh, fuck you, DM. I pass. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not a number. Twenty one. Uh, th this person was just woken up. Is super confused. Um, uh, that little from, aside from actually conversing with this person, that's just what you're gonna get with the, with any any insight roll. They're, they they just woke up. They're confused and they're just trying to apologize because they were sleeping. Okay. Well, as okay. that's happening, I'm li I'm literally pulling Severin by his robes away. And I'm, as we get a little farther away towards the door, I'm going to tell him, again, Severin, dude, I know, you're, I know you're under a lot of stress. I am under a lot of stress. But we can't be busting at the doors. I thought there was something serious going on, but I need you to be sure next time. Okay, Jesus to be fair, Christ. all I and did Jesus was motion you over... <laughs> All I did was motion you over and point at the door. You're the one who just busted in. That, I'm gonna. I am fair. going and to point Zasha that does out. Not realize that. Zasha does not realize that because <laughs> I have been a guard busting in doors for the last like five years. <gasps> All I, I did was so wave I you over and I'm point at the you. door, I'm just you and you character. kicked the fucker yeah. in. Yes. You don't get the guard who's been six foot five scary guy kicking doors for the last I didn't years, tell you so to kick in the door. Years. I, t I just... You did not. You did not say not to do it. Oh my god. I didn't anyway. tell you. I didn't tell you not to do something. Therefore, I'm at fault. Yes. yes. That is some, yes, I mean, yes, over the table, that's some fucking gaslighting bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> over, under, Zasha is not, over under Zasha was not a great guard he was hired because he was scary and he could kick in a door anyways so I'm, I'm dying though I, I'm so happened. fucking dying not Severin Severin's like <laughs> Severin's confused as shit because like he literally he's like all I did was come over here point at the door and you kicked it in <laughs> I, I, I'm hey, 6 a. I'm a. just confused 6 as a. shit. Aileram, <laughs> 6 a.m. Aileram, Cloudshire. Hey, this is a bad guy. 6 a.m. It's your first 15 minutes on shift. I'm kicking in that door if somebody points at it. So let's go. But anyways, we've done this. I, we've think, done I think that's I more of an indictment of... Jerk. I think that's yeah. more of an indictment of Aileram fucking policy for guards than yeah. it is anything else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we have our scene. I drag him out. I'm gaslighting this dude. What's the rest of the party doing at 6 a.m. in the morning? They hear a large kick in the door. That's probably what wakes them up, honestly. I'm fucking dying right now. <laughs> I will say the way this uh, in is established, uh, most of the noise of the stable doesn't affect the people uh, staying over the inn. But Good since enough. you both are super <laughs> confused and gaslighting each other, um, the other our other four. Oh, uh, I didn't uh, gaslight uh, for one minute. He gaslighted. <laughs> the 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 other four of our players will come down to the breakfast table and have uh, some time to speak amongst each other before Severin and Zosh. Mm -hmm. That 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 sounds about right. <laughs> so, uh, Lucian, Clover, Deirdre, Zathariel, maybe not all at the same time, within the same span of, like, we'll say 15, 20 minutes, you all make your way downstairs to the breakfast table. And since the majority of you are there, the barkeep will serve you uh, a hot, fresh, delicious breakfast, as was paid for, um, with, you know, uh, appropriate breakfast uh, beers and, and drinks and uh, what the what are the four of you discussing uh, as it happens? I'll do we keep of... it or do we sell it? We absolutely keep it. What are you talking about? Table. What do we absolutely keep it? <laughs> we keep it. I've been meaning to talk to you. I you know think I could be able to use it. Uh, I think we can have some fun. All right. Will you teach me though? 
Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I, I will teach you everything table. I know. Uh, how big is the gun compared to Clover? Oh, they are investigating the gun. Is that not what we were talking about? Yeah, it's definitely what we were talking no, about. No, I okay. know. I'm just, I'm catching up. I was just it, keying into that conversation. I'm like, I'm bad at cues sometimes. But I'm <laughs> no, no, no. That was just, that was just me catching up after handling the technical bullshit of getting everything moved. Good. Sorry, continue. That's me. <laughs> I'm just very interested in the conversation about the gun as a player. Uh, so I pushed the gun toward Clover, hoping she'll give me some information about what the heck to do with it. But I'm not, like, trying to take it back. I'm like, I can't use it. Will you teach me a little bit about this while you're inspecting it? Clover, as you uh, take hold of the gun, it does shrink down so that you can wield it. Which, awesome. is, a, which is a property only of magical weapons. I need Hell you to yeah. make me a spell casting check. So you're gonna roll your spell casting modifier. Um, Ooh. So whatever you use to sketch your spells, roll that um, with the appropriate um, accoutrements. Like intelligence, mods. right? Come on, Clover. No, you uh, could be a spell, our current in the sky. A spell caster you could check. Totally be our if if, if I remember how it's supposed to be done, a spell caster check is the uh it's a d20 plus the level of the spellcaster plus their uh modifier yes that is correct thank you d20 plus four plus your modifier okay d20 plus uh plus four oh my oh, god like it matters. Oh, four, four, my! Four, she four, didn't have three, the bonuses six, 20, in there. 25. She didn't have the bonuses Nine. in there, but Nat 20. Mm. Let's go, Clover. <laughs> Clover, as an artificer, you understand uh, magical items maybe a little better than other spellcasters. Mm -hmm. There is a very powerful ward on this gun, and it scares you. Hmm. Oh, okay. I know Clover's I... new at playing an artificer. Can she do an arcana check to study the ward? I either disable it or replicate it. Uh, due to the power of this ward, it would take it would it some should be time. a spellcaster check. Again, well. Yes, to, to just because of it, of the the nature of this ward, it would take uh, a little bit more time um, than your. Oh yeah, no, 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 it's not an instantaneous thing. It could take months of study, yes. years even. Uh, yes, the the, the 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 chance to do that is is potential, um, but that's something you would immediately realize this is better spent doing on the road than sitting here. Because if you see here to do it, you have no idea how long it's going to take. But if you're doing it while traveling, it'll make traveling seem quicker what what i'm trying to indicate to our new player or sorry our player who's newly playing an artificer is she can study the shit out of this magic item and possibly learn to replicate its properties or disable whatever warding is preventing you blah 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 you that this is this is this is legitimately your exact wheelhouse very cool thank you Okay, so I just know that it's uh, intimidatingly magical. And you can't use it. Probably not, not at your at current least. level. Yeah, you would have to increase your your capability with magical items. Oh, we'll get there, Dave. <clears throat> we'll get there. Dave. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, oh, look, it's Eardra. And... Damn, I, even I can't use it yet. I'm... I'm going to need some time, but this thing is, there's something really serious going on, and it'll take a while, but I think it'll be worth it. And pass the gun back to Deirdre as it starts increasing in size as it slides across the table. Oh, you can carry it if you want to, especially if it shrinks down to your size. 
I, I already have a pretty heavy pack. Oh. I swear, Sasha carries most of my stuff, so I'll just add a little to the load. <laughs> yeah. Magic uh, weapons are awesome. Again, speaking on behalf of a newbie artificer, what check would she have to make to determine how long it's going to take her to analyze this item? The uh, spellcaster check would determine the length of that. That would be a secondary check that she would have to make after the current situation. Gotcha. So she needs a little bit of time to, to you know, no, digest no. the information she has and then try again. No, I get it. I just I just want her... I, I want the player to be able to understand what, what her process is going to be. Hey, artificers are hard, guys. As I've learned, too, from Bloodhunter, yeah. Cough Cough, Crit Roll, there's some classes that are tough. There's a lot of classes that are tough. Artificers uh, but, is definitely one of them. But the four of us at the table, is there any other uh, conversation you'd like to have? Anything else that would like to be said? Uh, no, Zath, Zath would probably be one of the first people to make it to the table. Uh, and he would just spend his whole morning observing anybody that is there at the same time as them and like kind of watching faces and playing the flute and uh, working on his song about the welcome wench uh, patrons. Uh, lyrics oh, yeah. uh, uh, to be TBD, but that's what he's working on. He's just chilling. There's definitely already a glass of wine in front of him, whether like it's a mysterious glass of wine, but he has to have one in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Severin, uh, where would, uh, the fire be? Like, is there a fireplace in, in this tavern? There is not. Really? There are, there are tons of, uh, candles and oil lamps around this inn, but the fireplace is used for cooking in the back of the, uh, this establishment. Uh, no so Severin would sit and have a modest portion of the meal that was presented on the table and then begin meditating. Sasha is shooting a look at Severin, joining the rest of the party, grabs a whole handful of bacon, whatever meat's on the table, starts chewing, and then asks everybody at the table, so, after last night, what's the plan here, guys? I mean, where is Falcon? And I'll take a look around the room. Do I see him? Uh, noticeably, this morning is emptier than the previous evening. Only three yeah. of the previous uh, days uh, uh, patrons, patrons are around, yeah. as well as and the barkeep. And is this the same bitches who didn't follow me out because they're too cowardly, those smooth skins. So, noticing Falcon's not around, I'll just be like, guys. That guy got attacked. We intervened. This is not our this is not our place. This is not what we're here for. We got his fancy weapon, you know, Clover, Zath, Severin. I don't know if you have any dealings with this. Let's just take that thing. Let's get going. I know some people in Cloudshire. This is not where we need to be. I'm not going to spend another two, three days here figuring out why one guy hates another. I don't care. Severin opens his eyes and nods. Doesn't say anything, but just nods with an approving look on his face. Uh, Zath would um, just smile at this news. Uh, you know, I was actually, I like, this would be Zath saying this. Like, I was going to say that we all needed to be of one mind moving forward anyway, so it's glad to see we're already on the same page. Whatever's going on here, whatever that was, it's just another layer onto the things we've already got to worry about. If we're going to see the attacker again, we'll see him again, but we should just keep moving. This was only just a stop. Uh, I'll still be kind of half asleep shuffling bacon and eggs <laughs> into my mouth, but I will take a break briefly enough to agree that we should move on. So, oh, and acknowledging 
acknowledging that Lucien paid for our rooms. I don't know if Zasha would realize that, but I, I, I would like to think so. I'm going to nod at him and just thank him and toss two gold at him. Whether he takes it or not, I don't care, but I'm already walking out the door at this point, and I have my backpack over my shoulder. And uh, or, or, Severin so. would be following close behind. Yes. Well, hold on. Deidre, Clover. Be before anyone w walks away, did Clover or Deirdre have anything yes. to add to the situation before your party mates just start rudely walking away? Fair. <laughs> no. no Clover's in agreement that it's time to get going. She'd probably be have her, her map out and be talking to Sasha about the, the best route. Yeah, if we move through this part of the bush, we're going to end up here by tomorrow. And maybe we can camp at this ridge. And, and we're going over camping stuff. Is there any elven wine left over at our table from the night before, from this morning? Gotta be. That's where Zath got his there, last wine. The, there is a, a glass left of the elven wine. Is there any brandy left? Yes. <laughs> uh, no one had touched it, so you have basically a full bottle. I will stash the bottle of brandy. I'm adding that to my character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lucien, still add that to gold, because I would have left it on the table. Yeah, I already did. Alrighty. Excellent. Uh, well, that is a great place for us to... Uh, Pause off our session. I'm sorry. Uh, it's been a long Conclude day. the uh, session. <laughs> Conclude the session. Conclude? Is that um, the word you were looking for? Conclude. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so why doesn't everyone go ahead and take a level up after the... Uh, oh. oh! Hello. Level five. Let's go, people. Right. Let's go. Extra attack, Let's baby! Y'all are going to see some shit from Zasha. You don't even know next session. All right. I'm digging the shit out of that. Excellent. And we will pick up uh, next week uh, on the road to Cloudshire, having left the Vocal Ways. As a uh, announcement to uh, everyone out there in the interwebs, internets, whatever you want to call it, um... The, the cast and I have spoken and we'd like to play more uh, of uh, this campaign with y'all. So starting next week we will be starting an hour earlier. I am forgetting conversions. Uh, 7 p.m. Pacific time. Thank you. 7 p.m. Uh, whatever he said. Uh, <laughs> 7 p.m. my time. Numbers and words are hard. Uh, so, yes, starting next week, Don of Alderton will be coming to you at 7 p.m. Pacific time, same time as Cyber Nights on Tuesday nights. So if that helps you guys. Absolutely. Uh, getting into more into the degree of the campaign um, because we all want to play a little bit more and that's what works for everyone's schedule. So, yay. <laughs> more d d more d d uh, uh, before we disappear, before we disappear, I just want to say we had some tremendous growth this week on Sputter Media and gained uh, over seventy new followers. I don't have the uh, time to name each and every one of you individually, but I want to thank all of the new followers to Sputter Media and. Uh, say uh, we, we we are grateful for you to being the best part of Sputter Media, the followers who are uh, making us do this every week and uh, uh, allowing us to bring this to your uh, uh, to your your screens each week. So thank you very much for all of that. We love you. Yes, we love. We do you. love you. Thank you so much. Thank you, chat. Thank you, viewers. Stay tuned for more social media stuff that's in also in the works. Yes. It's coming forward. And also, don't forget, we are about to bring a brand new show to you on every other Saturday night, or every other Saturday afternoon, Tomb of Annihilation. So stay tuned. Tomb of Annihilation. Tomb of Annihilation.